Hey, thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Today, for the painting we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna try something totally different. I've never done it before. I've watched it done. It looks really cool. It looks really fun. So uh, let's get right to it and see what happens. Today, I'm gonna be using a 12 by 12 canvas and I am going to be using black and I'm going to be using red. I've put a little light coat on this canvas uh, just to make sure I could get my sides done really well. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm gonna just pour the rest here. Want, I want, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want a really thick layer, I don't think, but I want to, I don't want it too light either. It's got to be thick enough to make this work. So let's kind of leave it as thick as we can on here. Okay, we'll give it one go here and see how well this works. If not, we can add some more. I've taken some cotton string, this little roll of cotton string, and I've cut off, I've cut off several pieces just to see how this is gonna go, how we're, we're gonna try it and see. Now I've got this red, my red paint mixed up in a separate cup. I am going to submerge my string down in the paint. And I'm probably gonna help get my little stir stick here to help get it all submerged in there. Okay, so let's give this a whirl and see if it works. Been dying to try this, but you know, sometimes you can watch things and watch things and, and watch things and until you try to do it, it's just a different ball game. Now this might be the real trick is to not make a ginormous mess. Okay, I'm gonna take my string, see if I can gently go back and forth. Okay, let's see what happens with this. All righty, how does that look? That looks pretty cool to me. Now, I'm going to, okay, so now, Tried to get as much of that off my hands as possible. So now I'm gonna dip my second string down in here. And I didn't use the first one because it would already have the black all over it. And I don't know that that would, you know, well, first of all, that would go into my red paint and I don't want it uh, mixed in here in my, in my cup. So, okay, let's go for the second one here. Uh-oh, saw a little spot there that missed some paint. And wouldn't you know it, I <laughs> got a knot in the very end of it. Okay, not, not is averted there. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to see if we can very eh, carefully do the same thing here. Just back and forth. Back and forth. 
Definitely you want to wear your gloves, Mo. I would suggest. I'm going to hold it right here because I, I want it to pull out. Well, I want it to pull out right here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, look how cool that is, y'all. That is just so cool. Who would have thought? A little string. Now I want to... I want a shorter one. I want to put like a couple of little, let's see if we can do that. A couple of little short ones there. Just I'm gonna stick this back down in here. Soak. I don't, like I said, I don't want to soak the whole thing because let's see how that's going to work. Oh, that was lovely. Well, I can fix that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if we can do a little one right, oops, right there, right here. Do it a lot small, try to do it a lot smaller. Pretty cool. I'm gonna cut this off and use the other end of this string since I had cut them so long in the first place. So now we'll go over here to this one. And get my little string. And like I said, this is just cotton, cotton string. Get my little string all submerged. And very carefully, back and forth, I think I want to do one more, and I'm going to go ahead and reuse this same string since I'm going to just do one more here. <laughs> I'm having paper towel difficulties. I keep losing them. Okay, I'm trying to keep this as small, small, small. Whoops. I'm gonna see if I can there we go, get rid of that little blob that I, where I had made little blobs, blobs, blobs. For some of them, you know, that some of them I think help uh, make the character of the piece. That one, for whatever reason, just didn't seem to do that for me. See if I can turn this this way towards the camera so you can see. And I'm gonna let that continue to dry and see what we come up with. I think it's pretty cool. And like I said, this is my first attempt. As with anything, you know, the more you uh, the more you practice, the better you get at it. And I thought this was pretty fun. 
I don't know what to do about these little pieces, so we're just gonna kind of see if we can just make them, give them a little different look there. Anyway, I'm pretty, pretty tickled that, you know, the first attempt with it wasn't, you know, wasn't a less chunk in the trash piece. I, I'm, I think this turned out really cool. And like I said, it's, it's my first time to try this. Uh, and I think, you know, as with anything, the more you do it, you know, the better you get your own little, uh, oh, technique, if you will, of how to, you know, I'm not the steadiest handed person for one thing. So, you know, I, uh, have to be really careful. But anyway, I'm just tickled with that. I hope you enjoyed this. Well, thanks for watching. This was this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed uh, doing this this uh, painting. I've been dying to try it, so I thought we would try it together. And uh, I, I think it's really cool, and I can't wait to uh, experiment and, and try more. And I hope you'll do the same. Hope you'll take a minute to comment, or share, like, and subscribe. And you know, whatever you do, make it yours, make it personal, and you can do it.